Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to go over charms, how we actually use them and actually how to earn extra currency uh, with charms because it's a very easy way for a lot of players, especially earlier on, that might want to use platinum for other things. This is kind of something that some people may wanna do when they really wanna min-max push everything. But I think what's most important is trying to acquire those like five-star gems in the very beginning or the question mark out of five-star. You can get two-star gems by selling uh, charms over a long period of time. It is possible. Okay, so first off, how do you get charms? You can acquire charms uh, multiple different ways, but an easy way for most people to actually acquire them is to go over to the Hilch Trader. You can purchase these every once in a while and you can just get your charms through that. There's also alternate ways just by completing stuff in the game. You'll also get charms as a reward. But I have a bunch here, so I'm gonna show you guys and explain how charms work, how the uh, skill stones work as well, as these are gonna be something a little bit different. So uh, let's go ahead and go over uh, the charm system. So unlike in Diablo um, 2, where you would have plus to rank. Now I've covered this previously, and I believe the alpha or beta, it did do the same thing as Diablo 2 charms. You would get plus rank to skill. They've changed it up so you can get plus two to um, two percent. It looks like across the board. And I'm gonna move my face out of the way real quick, uh, but it's pretty much two percent across the board for like that sort of damage uh, that you would be getting for a very specific skill. But you'll notice that like you can get one that's not even for your class because you cannot trade between characters and you can't just sell the, the charms on the market. You have to sell what's called the skill stone. Um, so right here I have this grand charm that gives me plus two defendants. The rest of the stats literally do nothing for my character. Ideally. What we try to do is we try to get everything to go into demon hunter skills. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to get other uh, charms up to rank five, then you do what's called a skill stone on the charm. So we'll go to the uh, charms craftsman. You can see we can uh, actually use this charm and we can do what's called an imbue. And so what imbuing does is it's gonna create it into a stone. That stone is going to be used to actually upgrade uh, randomly on one of these. And I have one over here so I can actually show you guys how it works. So uh, right now we don't have anything that I really wanna use. Maybe this multi-shot one could be a good one to actually use. I'm gonna actually hopefully get this one on the vengeance because I would prefer to have vengeance, but I'm going to uh, actually um, have to um, imbue uh, this one over here with the skill stone that I have. So I already have a skill stone. I purchased it in the market literally just for this video, but I would recommend most players try to sell these and I'll kind of go over that in a second. So I'm going to imbue this grand charm. Now you'll see that I can replace one of these and I can take a skill stone and I have one right here, which I purchased. I want the crossbow shot. So a skill stone is not a charm. It's used to upgrade a charm. So I'm going to use this one for the sake of the video. Although I, again, recommend most people, if you want to get currency, just sell them and I'll go over that in a second. Um, but we're going to select the skill stone and then we're going to select something to replace. Now, what do I replace? Basically, just don't replace Vengeance and it's going to roll randomly. And this is why it's it, it, it's really only for people that really, really want to min-max. So what we're trying to hit is the crossbow shot. Um, you can get multiple skills on your class, but in this case, we're going to see what we get. So it's going to roll. Hopefully we can get crossbow shot again. It's just kind of a shot in the dark. Can we get it? Oh, no, it went past one. <laughs> so I can keep it or swap. So um, we can go ahead and let's say choose new skill and we can replace this one. Now we have two for the Crusader over here, which if I keep on replacing these, now I can start trying to get these skill stones uh, and sell it for more because it's got multiple Crusaders. There might be a Crusader that really wants it. Now for the other person, if I decide to sell this, um, they can try to have better RNG, right? So what we can also do right now is we can extract this one. This is a, another rank five uh, charm that I have upgraded. Now, how do you upgrade a charm? Okay, so uh, I have this one that is rank three, but I basically can disenchant these other ones. So I can take all these simple charms. I'm gonna disenchant the, um, let's salvage the ones that are not for our character. So basically anything that is not Demon Hunter, um, we don't really need to even look at it. We can just salvage it immediately, uh, unless you're doing something very specific. The only one that I was, would think about keeping is the multi-shot one, um, because I could uh, actually upgrade that one. Okay, let's see. As long as I don't have the multi-shot one in there, that's. That's the only one I really care about. Okay, because all, all, I could equip this charm right now and still get the 2% the if I wanted to. So uh, it doesn't really matter if we get rid of it. Let's For the sake of the video, uh, I, all I really want is specifically getting the uh, like basic attack for the demon hunter. So what we're gonna do now is we can take this uh, charm 
and we're gonna rank it up to five. So right now it's three, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing every single time. You just hit rank, uh, you just hit upgrade. And once it's rank five, it has to be rank five in order to do this though. Now we're gonna go extract uh, these. Now it will cost, you'll see that it does cost the um, platinum over here. Uh, so this is 500 platinum. If you want to get platinum, if you do your dailies, uh, just in the codex, you can get 300 every single day. I'm going to throw my um, face cam back on. But you can get 300 every single day. So like 500, yes, it's a cost, but you will make your money back. And I'll show you guys that. So what we're going to do is we are going to make these into what's called skill stones. So now we get a skill stone. Now we can get another skill stone. If I want to, yes, I can take my other one and upgrade and just keep on trying. Now it only goes to 2%. You might be thinking that's such a low number. So you can get what, five skills at 2% each. So at least via Wildhead right now, I don't know if anyone has done this yet because it's very, very expensive to do this like, um, you know, this early on because you just wouldn't have the platinum or the charms to craft. But apparently how it works, each one of these can go up to uh, 10%. So you'd have to have five of them to roll the same exact like skill, which is in this case, let's say vengeance, right? I can roll that and I can roll that five times. So at the end of the day, each one of these at 10% each would be 50% extra damage to one skill. That is insane, right? That could be very, very, very good. But the chances of getting that, again, very, very slim. So uh, what I've been doing, and this is how I've been making extra platinum. Some of you guys ask like, how do you not spend uh, extra real real money IRL currency and you know you get platinum? You can see what I've been selling over here. Uh, I've been selling skill stones, any of the other gems I've been crafting using the uh, fall runes, you get 22 of those. You're like kind of capped via the fading embers, but just keep on crafting those and I've been selling them. And you can see how much platinum I made. Uh, it takes a long time though. I'm not gonna sit here and say that like, it's really easy, anyone can do this in a day. Like this is over a very, very long period of time and I'm just selling all of these gems that I'm acquiring every single day, grinding it out, and it takes so dang long. I'm hoping for season three, they'll really make this a lot easier. So uh, now I'm gonna take those skill stones and sell them. Some of you guys have actually asked me this, and this is a great video because I myself was like, how come I can't sell my skill stones? What's going on? You have to go to the second tab on the bottom. Now those skill stones that we just crafted, I can sell them. Now, how do you price your skill stones? This is actually kind of a weird thing. It actually comes down to what someone is actually going for, and honestly, I've been selling them even if it just has like one of each like this one's all over the place, right? It doesn't have like two to let's say demon hunter But if we go to the skill stones in the marketplace It's kind of hard to judge. Uh, let's go to high to low So the most expensive one is selling for 2,500 and it's just all over the place, too How do you price these? It's kind of difficult. Uh, I, I honestly couldn't tell you other than like, I know the crossbow shot would be an excellent one. Ideally, you get as many demon hunter ones as possible. That's what I would want to do. So let's say like, I really want crossbow shot, right? Um, and we can also sh sort by like the price or we can see that. So it's kind of weird. How it works is it's just like the legendary gems that are like question mark at a five star, which is like, it's it's really frustrating that like the auction starts uh, in X amount of time. So uh, let's just go to available now. Oh, there's literally only one that has crossbow shot. Okay, but that would be like a one in five chance um, of getting crossbow shot. But that would be like one that I would consider most people would want. But if you can look for ones that also have others, oh, it says there's 19. Okay, there's only two, two pages of, of it. You'd want to buy one again that has multiple demon hunter ones. But I'm just gonna go list these. Uh, how do I price these? I kind of look at like what's the cheapest one. So if I go to buy, because I want to rotate through my items fast, um, as I try to list as many things I, as I possibly can on the market. Because as a uh, player that doesn't buy the, there's a thing where you can buy and you can unlock more. You have to pay for it. Which again, I hope in season two they really revamp up the uh, monetization system for this game. But like. You don't get the ability to list like 500 items at once, which I wish you could. Like that'd be just very nice. That way uh, I could list my stuff for, I guess, more. Uh, but if we go to buy, let's check out the cheapest skill stone. And I mean, it depends on the skills too, like which skills like are more in demand. But if I just go to low to high and I just go to all, because that's kind of what I'm going to go off of this video, you can see the cheapest one is like um, 1100. So if I list this for like, let's say, 1200 basically there is a 15% fee so you have to take that into consideration as well I mean I could list these both for like 15 um, hundred so if I even if I list this for let's say um, Let's say 17 right uh, the thing that I wish I could just list these like as many as possible But the thing is is that I have to wait 12 hours before they become like available to be purchased I'm just gonna sell them for about 17 hope they sell and then that way we can get uh, roughly, you know almost 3k platinum because remember we have to pay the fee or whatever i think it's i think 
like, times, what is, well, I, what is the number? I can get the exact number uh, for you guys real quick. What is it? Uh, 17, 14, and then we get times two because we would sell two of them. And then we would multiply that times 0.85 and we get 2,900 platinum. So um, remember there was an investment though. Uh, so if we get the 2,900 platinum, we did pay 1,000 platinum to do this. So we net a profit of 1,000 uh, 900 and you can get this every few days, but it, it, it takes time man. It really does um, the most of the most of the things that I'm selling to get platinum I'm just getting lucky again crafting like I got a Phoenix I, mean, I guess you can't scroll you only have a limit on how much you can scroll, but I, I actually got really lucky I crafted a uh, uh, a phoenix off of the fall runes with the fading embers. I think that they should really consider making it so there's no cap for the fading embers. That would really help out. That way everyone can start, like, you know, just infinitely grinding for the gems. But anyways, that is the skill stones. That's the charm system in a nutshell and how you can use it to make extra currency. And that's one method that I've been doing. If you guys want to share any other tips down below in the comment section below, feel free to go ahead and do so. But thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you guys enjoyed the video and this is your first time here, you do want to see more Diablo Mortal content and also D4 when the beta does launch. Subscribe and turn that bell and you see more. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.